Well, I got this car in the shop. It's up on the hoist. Started disconnecting stuff, uh, throttle cable, uh, transmission shifter cable, power steering, wiring, uh, vacuum lines for brake booster, all that fun stuff. The next thing I got to do is pull out all the suspension, which is just basically the tires and the struts. And then I can put this whole setup into this car. Um, some stuff I'm going to do before it goes in though, I'm going to loop these rad hoses and maybe an EGR delete. I like doing EGR deletes on these. So that's probably what I'm going to do before I even put this car, this motor into the car. And um, then I got to drop this onto this table and then I got to pull it away. And then I got to lift this up off the cart and put it on the ground and then I got to lift the motor off of here and put it on. It's a it's going to be one heck of a cluster, that's for sure. But uh, we'll get her done. We'll figure something out. Um, I've got about four more hours. Not even, sorry, not four. It's like 11 o'clock. I got two hours until I have to go inside and have a shower and get ready for work because I'm going, I need to get a couple hours sleep before work. I need, doing 12 hour midnights uh, right now, I need to get at least four hours of sleep before I do a 12 hour shift. So anyway, we got a lot of stuff to do right now and uh, not a whole lot of time to do it. So let's, uh, I'd really like to have this motor in before I go inside and take my nap. I'd really like to do that. So let's get going. You guys can clearly see there's no axles in it or anything like that. Okay, so you fit there, you fit there, you go here, and you go here. You guys, ready? Oh, I don't have fuel. Oh, and I don't have starter hooked up. Well, I forgot some steps, so I have to connect the fuel line, and I'm probably going to have to start underneath the hood. So give me like two more minutes. So we have the fuel on. We have everything set up. schedule but you know what I think that we can hustle we can get this done um, so what needs to be done now all the axles need to be put back in as you see they're kind of hanging out right by my knees down here I was a little nervous of them spinning at the speed they're in because I guess the transmission is not in park I want to put a transmission cooler I want to put a radiator I want to change out the front motor mount I want to put the header back on I want to clean up the wiring. I want to build a new fuel tank for this because the fuel tank that's in it is very, very tiny. Oh, there's so much to do still. But 
Now that I got a running motor, I'm feeling a hundred times better than this, but oh, this was such a pain. Such a pain! But you know what? It had to be done. I, I couldn't drive as far as I was going to drive with a motor I did not trust in this thing. And I don't know. Let me show you it. This is the motor here, and honestly, I don't know what the issue is. I got an entirely new engine harness for it, new coil packs, new temp sensors, new starter. Uh, a lot of the sensors that I knew I didn't need, I didn't plug in, but still, I even tried it with all these plugged in. Still no luck. Um, new crank sensor, new cam sensor. This is all brand new pieces, and it's giving me such a problem. I can't understand why this thing is doing what it's doing to me. I should just scrap this thing. It's caused me so much pain, so much aggravation. I, I should just scrap you. Take all the parts off you and just send you right to the dump. Keep my harness, keep everything I need and send you right to the dump. Take off all my sensors and the timing belt. Take everything I need off you and send you in because you are making me angry. I've stored you for so long. but. I don't know. I'm happy to have a car that runs. That's all I'm going to say right now because I am ecstatic. Ecstatic. Still so much work to do and so little time to do it though. That is the issue right now. So I guess I need to get going on this thing, right? Yeah. Yesterday where we left on this car, I just got it running. And it's getting so close to the derby, I'm cutting it damn well close. Um... What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put all the suspension back in, I'm going to put all the subframe bolts back in that help hold on the plates on the bottom, I'm going to put my header on, I'm going to wire in the alternator, I'm going to zip tie in my shifter, hook up my shifters, all that fun stuff, um, fix the transmission coolant lines because I do not want them protruding out that far, uh, throttle cable, uh, map sensor, basically just clean up on the engine bay, get a... I don't know, just get this thing set up so it's it's back to where it was basically two days ago. But the only difference now is I'll have a running reliable motor in it. So we got quite a bit of work to do today to get this thing to where it was yesterday. It doesn't sound like much of an achievement to get it to where it was two days ago, but that's what we got to do. So we got to get all the suspension back in. Um, a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to get going on this. You guys want to follow with? I thought so too. Shift, and I've got about five hours. Is it five? 
five hours. I got six hours until I gotta go back in. So I gotta go in the house and I get something to eat and I gotta get a five hour sleep before I go to work. Um, so, basically we're at the same spot we're at three days ago, except now we were, uh, the car's running. If you wanna see it run, you ready? Just need to wire in some stuff. Or the throttle cable, I got to set that up. Uh, fuel filter, I have to attach that to the firewall. I want to put an air conditioning radiator back inside this and just nine wire it in. Uh, map sensor is not securely mounted. Uh, starter switch, here it is, that has to be hooked up. Uh, I got to put a bumper on it, I got to do the trunk. Uh, motor mounts, wiring, I got to clean up all the wiring because I've torn it all apart again. Uh, alternator is not charging because it's not wired in yet, so I got to do that. Uh, top of battery box, I don't have anything to hold the battery in. Um, door padding, driver door padding. I gotta mount my two GoPros, uh, the doors, and then my transmission lines. And I'll probably find some other stuff as I'm going through here because I still gotta pack the truck. Uh, I still gotta pack all my spare parts. I wanna bring, make an extra pair of doubles. So I got a lot to do. But unfortunately, I think that's it for today. Um, it's been a, it's been a long and very tedious day. And you know what, I, I really did not want to swap the motor in this because I knew it would put me so far behind. Um, I didn't want to start a new car because I knew if I started a fresh car, there was no way I could complete it to be able to run. So I knew I had to do something to this. So yesterday I, I tried and I tried and I tried to get that old motor that's on the trailer in front of me to run. I, I tried putting a new wiring harness on, I tried every new sensor. I wanted to avoid taking the motor out, but all it really did do was take a day away. I took a day away from me being able to do this, and that sucks. I could have used that day much more efficiently if I didn't waste it. But Live and learn, and I tried to take an easy step, and I ended up taking, having to take a big, hard step around it. So, we got the new motor in, it's running, we got a list, we got stuff to do, it's coming along. So thanks everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. <laughs>